This is your Public Eye Report. This is Sharon J. Hill, live at historic Westside Village. Well, it is the happening. No, it's the opening of the new Walmart. Right here at 835 Martin Luther King Jr. Drive. And happening in the store right now is... Miss Sandra Andrews, well, you know, she's known as San. Yes, that's right, it's San's Hair Salon at 907 Joseph E. Boone Boulevard. And San, on the real, because that's what you have to deal with. <laughs> okay, look, from natural to straight to curly, <laughs> come on. <laughs> look, from from uh, what do you call it? From black to gray. Exactly. <laughs> Talk about talking about uh, taking care of the needs of the people. What does this Walmart serve? Well, it, it serves as a actually um, really to tell the to, 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 to tell the truth. Everybody always thinks the West Side as a psychological deprived neighborhood, which we actually are, and it, it really actually brings an uplift to the West Side community, the historic West Side community as a whole. And it plays a role as first as college kids, they don't have to go far out. And Well, anybody that lives in, in this community doesn't have to actually, it, 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 it's just, wonderful just being in the neighborhood that we really need this for the neighborhood instead of driving off out our way and uh, uh, it's really a gas saver too oh have mercy speaking of yes. that now <laughs> right <laughs> and it's this walmart has explicit basically everything i think it's better than the other walmart uh -oh. even though it's much smaller but it has everything that a person would actually need it. That that's really needed in the neighborhood, not just the neighborhood, but just to save a money saver. To not just really going far out your way, and just being here in the neighborhood plays a role. And not me just playing a role, but the the just the business itself. Awesome. And I love it. I just <laughs> love being in Walmart because this is where I like to shop and. Sometimes and I can't go anywhere. Uh, I I can get up early in the morning and go and shop at right there in the hair products. Some okay. of the products that uh -oh. I really need. Okay. So serving a need actually for not just the residents but for businesses here. Interesting you should say so because um, earlier I actually uh, saw Mr. Mike Morell who owns the Morell's Cafe at Scholar's Restaurant at Morris Brown College and pretty much he said the same thing. So um, you said uplifting the community, um, a value-added service for the um, business owners as well as entrepreneurs, exactly. filling the need, being the difference, is the historic West Side Village, the Walmart, and I don't know, um, you have a salon, so you, of course, are, they say that, uh, what, the, your hairstylist knows best uh, and knows everything about you, so uh, give us a little peek into what some of your customers have been speaking about when this was on the horizon. Well, actually, my clients they were mm -hmm. telling me about when I first they said a new Walmart is gonna be in in the neighborhood. I said, My gosh, a new Walmart? And I usually like going to the MPU meetings and I really found out through the MPU mm -hmm. meetings, through our state representative, um, and our president, Yvonne Jones. Uh, was known as Sade. I actually speak with them um, in occasion to the neighborhood. But as far as my clients is concerned, um, I didn't really hear this through my client. I <laughs> okay. heard this through my mother. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> and um, well, my clients there actually was saying that 
a lot of jobs or uh, jobs were being created in the and anybody that lives in 30314 and 30318 and I just actually wanted to come and look and you know be one of the uh, uh, critical and nosy type person and just want to see actually what's I mean this is so beautiful this what is actually what we need in the neighborhood and it bypasses everything you might need to tear some of these other stores down and just keep the wall set of empty buildings yes. right it said okay to clean it up yeah and you it mentioned the it, NPU it, what is the NPU for this area um, the NPU for this area NPU L, L. Mm -hmm. and I normally they have they meet every first second Tuesday of each month and I normally go uh, to those meetings and awesome. see what new product, product what, they, what they have to introduce to the neighborhood. And this was one that they actually, thanks to not our mayor, but even Devon Jones that wanted even the, the president of a fine city community that really that brought about this idea of having a Walmart. Awesome, awesome. And it is very beautiful. Things that actually, going across town, I've seen some of the Walmarts, but some of the stuff that they have, I don't even actually see those things that they actually have in the Walmarts that they have here. It's, it's to me, it's much, much better and like I said, a gas saver. All right then. Well, we've heard the upside <laughs> about the uplift that Walmart has brought to the West Side, historic West Side Village here, 835 Martin Luther King Jr. Drive. This is your Public Eye Report. We thank San. We thank her for being our sisters and brothers keepers as she has shared with us the information for NPUL and a shout out to her mother, your mother's name. Ethel Andrews. All right, Miss Andrews, for being on top of it and making sure that we're in the know. We thank them. This is Images and Issues, News You Can Use, Connecting Globally, That Which We Can Share, Information and Education. Yes, we are our sisters and brothers keepers, and we are keeping you on purpose. Sharon J. Hill.